Hey Bass Geek here, and even in November, there's still a topwater bite to be had. Yeah, geeks, that's right. You know me. We're going to be talking about top water in December. The water temp is 47 degrees right now. 46.9. It just dropped. Uh-oh. Look at that. Guess what that is? Look at that. We might, we might go catch some fish here. Anyway, so one of the things that I want to talk about is top water in December. One of the great tools about top water in late November and December, I kind of put the walking baits down in November and I pick up the wake baits. One of the reasons why in November and December that the wake bait is still a great bait early in the month is the same reason why the big glide baits or the big swim baits are still good. And that is because it mimics those bigger shad that might be struggling. And sometimes it can get you some T-ubs, some tubs in your boat. So let's talk about that a little bit more. One of the biggest reasons why I love to throw this bait, and there's one in particular, there's several in here and I'll show them to you and show you which ones I like and which ones I don't, is you want to make it look like a wounded bait fish on the surface, just kind of barely making its way across the surface. It's great around flats, bluffs, anything you can find to throw it around and you want to work it super subtle and super slow. Wake baits. Let's talk about the different ones that I'm gonna use this time of year. Number one, generally, I'm not gonna use these. These, I think, are the Strike King. They've got a great sound to them, a great look to them, but they're really loud. Now, some of these, and the bandits are great. They're quiet, got a little bit of rattle, and they're super subtle. These are some of the Rapalas, but they're a little big for my taste. Now, I don't know if I've even got it in here. Let me look and see. You know, I don't. Spro makes one now that's great. This is a razor by Jack On. I do love these baits. I do love to throw them you got to keep them up in the water a little bit. And so right now, they're a little more for active. I want something that's going to be crazy subtle. That's when I'm going to the long A's. I love my long A's. A great color if you're around smallmouth right here. The tackle hat Warehouse don't carry the long A's anymore. You need to tell them to. But you can get them with a 15% discount code on Lornet, and that will be in the description. That's your go-to right there. Change the hooks on these, they're not great. Now, let me show you why this is one of the best wake baits for winter bass. So for this little bait, I love a 14 pound test leader. That's right, a leader in monofilament. I tie that to a braid, again, canine braid, and that is going to be anywhere from a 10 to a 20. Canine's, canine's braid is so thin, so slick. You can easily get away with a 20 pound test. Uh, and it's also going to help keep this bad boy. Since technically it is a jerk bait, it's going to help keep it up. Now, I pair that with my good old shaky head. I'm telling you, this rod is just great for everything. This rod is a shaky head rod, but it's a seven foot medium fast action it's got some great tip to cast this out there a mile that's the key these things are super light you want a great tip to get a long cast now of course as always one of my favorite reels is going to be the lose custom pro now let me show you how to fish this thing so places to fish this i mean it could be anywhere from bluff walls to flats across lay downs are great anywhere where there's shad that's the big key in my opinion where there's shad because what this is going to look like really is it's really going to look 
like a wounded shad. Now, one of the things that you always wanna make sure you do is that you let that bait float up and you reel super slow. It's gonna to wanna to dive on you. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna let that bait very subtly walk back and forth and create a V in the water. So it'll take you a few tries getting the speed right, but you want to try, it's almost like a buzz bait. You almost want to keep the line out of the water. Keep that rod tip high. Let that bait just wake its way back to you. So like I said, the big key is just to make the longest cast you can make. I try to keep that line tight and then just get that bait to moving. And you wouldn't believe, especially the smallmouth, smallmouth hate this bait. So if you're around smallmouth and spots, they hate this bait. I mean, they can't stand it. They will come up and just crush this bait. So like I said, guys, I'm telling you, this bait will get you bit 45 degrees and above. It's pretty amazing what you're gonna see first half of winter time with this bait. Especially if you're around small mounts and spot this bait, they, they just can't resist it. If you see shad floating, pick this bait up. If you see big gizzard shad in the shallows, pick this bait up. Bigger shad up shallow, pick this bait up. This bait is a killer this time of year. All right, so questions, comments in the comment section below. Guys, you know I love to talk about fishing with you. And especially on this, let me know. I know it's a crazy technique. Uh, it's very specific to my region. But I know a couple years back on Pickwick, this won the, the Open Championship or the Toyota Championship, one or the other. Anyway, as always, questions, comments in the comment section below. Like I said before, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. 100% Watch Squad, I know you guys. And as always, you guys rock.